My name is Anton Borst. Uh, we're here at Hallarda Farms in Elm Creek, Manitoba, Canada. I own the farm with my wife, Cheryl, uh, and my son, Michael, and his wife, Shanique. So we are uh, milking uh, a herd of 1,250 Holstein cows. We use 20 A5 Lely robots to do so. Uh, today is vet day, so the, herd, the vet is here to doing herd health. But herd health consists of uh, confirming cows, checking cows for, for pregnancy. So he's checking cows that are um, 29 days bred, uh, 29 to 35 days bred, making sure that they're pregnant. And then uh, again, at, a little after 60 days, we check the cows again to make sure that they're still pregnant, that they haven't lost their embryo. So we have a, uh, a vet that comes every week, so it's every Tuesday. Um, but because of, we have lots of information coming from our milking and monitoring system, um, we provide that information to the vet if he is checking out a cow, uh, because that gives them a lot of it gives them a lot of help on diagnosis of what's going on, and that's why most of the cows that are identified as sick here never see a vet. They're diagnosed by the barn staff uh, because there's enough indications between uh, drop to milk yield, high conductivity, cell count, um, rumination, lack of eating minutes, um, etc. Uh, to, for us to be able to identify what's wrong with the cow. Because we have the tags, we have very good heat detection rates. So we have a very high, a very high percentage of cows that will be checked today will be pregnant. Because if they had a, a return heat, like 20, any 18 to 21 days after their previous heat, we catch that a high percentage of the time. So they would have been rebred. So most of the cows that we end up presenting to the vet for preg checking will be pregnant. Thank you. 